Local 24 News has exclusive dash cam video that reveals new information in the search for a missing Mid-South man. Good evening, I'm Joyce Peterson. And I'm Cameron Harper. James Irby vanished after a traffic stop in Walls, Mississippi, May 4th. His family fears he's dead. For the first time, the Walls Police Chief is talking about the case to our Shelley Orman. It's a story you'll only see on Local 24 News. Shelley? Cameron, we have footage of the traffic stop and hours old search results from cadaver dogs that Walls Police Chief Gary Boisseau says proves James Irby is still alive. This dash cam footage was the last time James Irby was seen. He had felony amount of marijuana. He had a prescription bottle with um, illegal narcotics in it. Irby's on the phone when police find the drugs. The officer orders him several times to hang up. He says, hang up the phone or I'm going to tase you. And Mr. Irby ignores him. Mr. Irby jumps a little bit at that point. And he says, put that thing away. And that's where the actual tase happens. One of the darts misses Irby, who keeps running across Highway 61. Whenever we have a pursuit like that, and we're a small department, so usually we just have one man on at a time. He followed Mr. Irby into the field far enough to see where he was going and then turned around and came back out. Walls Police Chief Gary Boisseau is speaking to Local 24 to clear his Department of Misconduct accusations and release details of his investigation. He believes Irby is alive and on the run. We rode the wheat fields, we rode the tree line, uh, but it's a large area out there um, and no sign at all of Mr. Irby. Search crews and Irby's family spent Thursday scanning the fields off Highway 61. They found nothing. Boiseau says canine results show why. We just got these re results back today. Two bloodhounds and their handlers tracked Irby this past Tuesday. Both had the same results. The two different dogs, two different sets that show him going in the field and coming back out and catching a ride south on Highway 61. They had no cadaver scent whatsoever. They, these are actual cadaver dogs where they're, they're trained to sense death, if there's, even if somebody has died and, and is under the water. This is conclusive evidence to you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it is. Th these dogs have been used in uh, felonies and murders, and they are, they are dead on accurate. Irby's heartbroken family swears they haven't heard from him. And he'd be like, little bit, because that's what he called me, little bit. Little bit, come and get me. Little bit, don't go and get it. But this ain't happening. I, I have no idea what his motivation would be. But you think that he did get picked up on I do. 61? Yes, ma'am, I do. After that, no idea? No idea at all. Falls Police Department considers Irby to be a fugitive. He also, Boiso also says the FBI has cleared the department of any wrongdoing. But all of this is little comfort for Irby's family, who the members are still left wondering what happened to him and where he is. Live in the newsroom, Shelley Orman, Local 24 News.